because it's such a beautiful time of the year. Plenty of time it should be spent outdoors, not just on the water, but on land too. South Florida is actually the perfect place for gardening. Now here in the Keys, around mile marker 8.5, you'll find the largest nursery and garden center. Not to mention Mama's Garden Center always has the best selection. Kevin, thank you for being on the show with me today. Uh, thanks for having me. All right, let's talk gardening, okay, Kevin? Okay. <laughs> when is the best season down here in the Keys to garden? Uh, coming up real shortly, um, starting like mid-October all the way through April is the best time to garden down here. Mm -hmm. um, like vegetable gardens down here actually is a winter crop. Um, tomatoes, um, squash, anything like that grows really good in like from the end of October into like January, February. Okay, so the best time is coming up. Yes. It's upon us. Yes. And now what are you doing at Mama's Garden Center to prepare for season? Um, we are doing lots of things right now. Um, other than just sprucing up the place for season, um, we are trying to liquidate a lot of our plants for end of summer clearance um, to make way for new and exciting plants for our season. Mm -hmm. And now what are some of those new and exciting plants going to be that we could expect? Oh my God, um, everything that you can think of. Um, we're trying to get into more decorative type stuff so that you, that you can only find at Mama's. Um, kind of like this thing I'm holding in my hand right now, mm -hmm. um, which is um, air plants or tillandsia. Um, being that a lot of people in the Keys have such small yards, um, and some people have no yards basically. These are plants that don't require soil. Um, you can grow them in trees, you can grow them on anything decorative that you can attach them to with some household cement or some construction adhesive. Um, and just make living walls, vertical walls, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And now this really does look like real soil. Yes, um, this, this is actually um, kind of like a, um, it's a real fiber from a tree, mm -hmm. kind of like um, a fossilized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now what about this that you gave me to hold? What is this exactly? This is <laughs> a tillandsia just attached to a piece of um, driftwood. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just used for like to sit on a coffee table in a porter room or an outdoor patio just to, um, to have something green. Okay. And now what about for someone like me, I've never really gardened before. I mean, I might have done some stuff with my mother, right, <laughs> right. but that's about it. Is it hard? Like what would be some tips for beginners? Uh, for this kind of plant, I mean, these pretty much maintain themselves. Mm -hmm. As long as they have moisture from the air, Mm -hmm. um, and especially right now with our rainy season, they don't need hardly any human contact right now. Um, when it gets drier, they will need to be spritzed every now and then, and if it's really dry or if you bring it inside, you'll definitely have to maintain it a little more. Okay, but, and what about just for like beginning a garden? Like what would be a tip for what I should have first in it? If, if someone like you that mm -hmm. just was starting out, mm -hmm. um, definitely plants that you know you love. Mm -hmm. um, you can grow anything down here in the Keys. Um, I was real excited when I started my garden because I could finally grow tropical fruit that I always, you know, wanted to grow but never could, being in Mississippi. So um, the first thing I got was a star fruit tree because I mm -hmm. really wanted a star fruit tree. And then I got a mango tree, you know, and then a key lime. You know, mm -hmm. almost every yard down here has to have a key lime, right? Right. right. Oh, you have to have <laughs> your key limes. Okay, so that so you can do all of that in your garden right here. Oh okay. yes. Oh yes. Okay. And now, what are what are some of the other new products? I know you went into some of the stuff you're going to be having this season at Mama's Garden, but what's going to be your favorite? My favorite? Mm -hmm. um, I, I kind of like these kind of plants in bromeliads. Um, they're just special plants to me. Um, staghorn ferns, I think there's some pictures um, behind this with some staghorn ferns on it, and those two um, can grow in trees as an epiphyte, needing no soil. Um, it's just, and one, one exciting thing, speaking of this, I'm um, talking about vertical walls, we have a new product also called um, Wooly Pockets, where you can actually plant on your wall um, with these uh, felt pockets that attach to the wall. And so now you can actually grow plants going up a vertical wall. It's really cool. Very cool. That sounds good. And now if anybody wants some more gardening tips, they can contact Mama's Garden anytime. The website's on the bottom of the screen along with the phone number. And don't forget the clearance sale, which is taking place October 6th and 7th. Right, right, Kevin? That's right. All right. Lots of special deals going on as well. Lots of special deals because you're getting rid of everything for the new season, which that's is right. starting in October. That's right. Thank you, Kevin, for sharing all this information oh, thank you. this morning. All right. That's going to do it for me today. I thank you for tuning in this morning. I invite you to join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.